Chaos Bikes and Beta Motorcycles presents Out for a Rip, bud. This is part one, the warm up. You might be getting up this trail behind Widow. Now we're up here on top of Widow. You can see a bunch of our camps down there. It's pretty cool. You can also see all the damn logging that they've done. Don't forget, it's the dirt bikers out here causing the siltation. Anyway, this climb is not super easy, and it's not even super dry here today, so let's use this as a good lesson here. Man, did I pick the wrong Step line? one, pick the wrong line. Once you've picked the wrong line, you're going to move into step two, which is losing all your momentum. Fuck. Swearing helps too. In step three, this is trying everything. You're pushing the bike, you're reefing on it, you're wasting your energy. Step four, backing up to a better spot. This is an advanced technique where you use your clutch instead of your brakes to back up under more control. Not going to cover that today. Step five, once you get to a good spot, fucking give her, bud. Keep your feet on them pegs and just keep the bike moving. Up to this log hop. Got onto a nice rock there, popped me right over it, no problem. Mike's in danger. And I got new rear brakes, so that's pretty sweet. See the runoff is just crazy in every little ravine that it can possibly be running off. up on these loose rocks here. I probably should be in second gear, but I'm in first. Get a little bit more torque out of second, but sometimes you don't get enough power to pop over stuff on this bike. As you can see, the blowdown, just crazy out here. This looks really bad at first. Oh my god, man. That's fucking... Yeah. That was definitely not like that last time. Oh, that's sketchy. But it's not near as bad as it actually looks. Oh once my. you do it once, it's nothing. Nasty. Slippery-ass double log. Terrible performance on that one. Ass end slid out on there. Could have been much worse. Oh my god. It's just snot out here. Everything's just slime. Nothing you can do. That was fucking textbook. Oh, I had the wrong weight on my pegs coming through there. Making our way out of the trees, back onto the road. My buddy's camped right by us here. Figure we stop in and see if he's up. He's technically up, but he's super sleeping from a bad hangover. We're going to jump into part two. This is Voodoo Trees. All right, we're going into Voodoo Trees reverse. Mm -hmm. 
I'm planning to do a video series where we're going to cover all the trails in McLean, all the single track. And uh, this is going to be one of the first ones because we got a pretty good video of this coming out for you. It's going to be the entire ride. This way it's mostly downhill. Relatively easy. Going to set up a new playlist for y'all and check out all the trails. We're going to do a complete map of McLean. Killer. Back end was drifting up that hill there. Either you're riding like shit or I'm riding awesome today, or a mix of both. I looked back. I looked back to see if you'd wiped. No. And I was like, oh no! I'd already, I already, I just had to hit the brakes before I died over here. Yeah, it happens. We were both pretty much on each other's ass the whole way through this trail. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's a solid one. Oh fuck, here we go. Getting really slick and nasty. Whoa! Just about lost it there. I have a feeling we were probably supposed to turn there because we ended up in a different spot than I was expecting. Oh my god. It's rough right here. As you can see, my uh, throttle went right down into the mud, which is always super shitty. Trying to use the bike. It's really hard in this wet shit to get the traction you need without losing her basically. Finally got my ass up there. Now we're into a really nasty section, probably the worst of it. It wasn't a terrible pass through there either. I just take the high road there. Puts me in a shitty oh, spot man. for this though. Fucking nasty. Still without real trouble we get through there. A couple of neat down trees to duck under. Got a buddy that says those bent ones like that, they're from Bigfoot. Oh yeah, that's nasty. We really haven't got a reprieve from this rain yet. It's just raining basically constantly. And it's really hard to get out and get this footage. Riding in this shit's really taxing. Them, that was like five or six smacks. Brutal. When you fuck up that technique, you usually get way off course. Oh yeah, way. Just like that. Again, throwing you sideways. You got absolutely no traction out here in the slime. I like this part a lot, but getting thrown off, just super slippery out here. My back tire is also not the best. Trail, cause I fucked that up. Now that's the exit that I was hoping to come out. And right about here, Mike hits his front brake like it's his first day and he's down. I almost ran into him too here because I'm paying attention to filming, not really what he's doing. Really didn't seem like that bad of a crash, but uh, it's not good. You'll hit your brake like it's your first day. 
What? Oh no. You probably can't hear him very well, but his rad's leaking. Fuck! And this is really the first time we've got to ride in, well, a while because he's been doing bike repairs with the... Uh, From where is the coolant coming? With the rocker bolts that came out there. Your hose punched in? Fuck! So if you're watching the last video, you'd see that uh, we spent more time so we repairing back now? than we did riding. Fuck! We're going this way or that way back? Back on the quad trail, probably? We can just keep water in it. So we started hitting the road to get back to camp. We're not that far. This ride only consisted of like 15 or 17 kilometers total, even with the way back. We're used to riding more like, you know, 60, 70 kilometers type of thing in a day. It's been so hard. I saw that. And of course, as soon as he turns his fuel back on, we're back on the roll. Had me worried there for a second. He's got me worried again. You good? That's good. That's good. Then he gives us some confidence. Back to camp here, tooling around. We'll fix it. Now we got Mike's machine shop again here. As he's uh, trying to fix his radiator. Now we got Mike doing some more bush repairs. Fun and learning never ends. Here's what I fucked today. So that's his rad uh, brace, rad guard thing he's fixing there. He's also putting some epoxy on his radiator. Attempt to stop the leak. And that's pretty much where we at. It's uh, seemed to work. And uh, hey, the next episode is going to feature an ATV adventure to a heavily flooded area. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, check me out on TikTok at Chaos Dubs, at Chaos Bikes. I got a ton more content coming, so stay tuned. We're going to have the conclusion to the bridge. Uh, that's coming. We're going to have the conclusion to Mike's bike repairs. That's also coming. And we got a lot more cool stuff. I got a totally different set of content coming for you pretty soon as well. It's just going to be one video, but it's going to be something that uh, we haven't done anything like it before. So we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Be safe out there.